Centerpoint Energy Dayton Air Show is this weekend. That's when the U.S. Navy Blue Angels and dozens of other acts will take to the sky to perform in the Miami Valley. On the ground, there will be 80 exhibits for people to walk through. There's so much to see and do on the ground. I've been calling it the show before the show. There are still tickets available for Saturday and Sunday's shows. We have a link to the box office on WHIO.com. And the Dayton Air Show is one of our area's biggest events all year. Air Show officials said about 85,000 people showed up for last year's show. Attendees pumped more than $3 million into our area's economy. Sheets is excited to open its newest gas station in our area. It's on Brant Pike in Huber Heights. The big opening is tomorrow. And keeping count, this is the seventh store to open in our area in less than a year. However, Sheets has faced some challenges. The city of Centerville told Sheets no go on the Elsa's property on Far Hills to build here. So this spring, Sheets, its general contractor, and Elsa's filed a lawsuit against the city. And Kettering's city council refused to rezone land so Sheets could build on West Dorothy Lane. Kettering said it was not part of the city's comprehensive plan. Don't forget to save the date for this Sunday. It's WHIO's Seven Circle of Kindness Community Recycle, Reuse, and Repurpose Drive. From 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., we will be accepting unwanted, gently used household items for free here at our WHIO studios on South Main Street. For more information, head over to WHIO.com and click on Seven Circle of Kindness. You'll find it at the top of our homepage. And, of course, we hope to see you there. That's from Center 7 Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney joining us now. Austin, a lot going on this week. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are going to be out and about, but those temperatures, folks, really got to go. Just going up. In fact, I was looking this evening. If we get to 96 degrees, it's the first time we've done that since 2012. Okay. So it's actually really hard for Dayton to get to or above 96, but chances look good, unfortunately, for that right now. The typical high this time of year is 83, and I think if we had low humidity at 83, We'd be sitting pretty out there, but the reality is we're at 92 today. We're going to be at 93 degrees tomorrow with a good bit of mugginess, and then we just pile it on 95 for Wednesday, and then here we go, Thursday. That should be the hottest day we've had since 2012, and we go even hotter into Friday at 97 degrees. Heat indices going 100 plus. We are just in the thick of it, and today was just day one. Out there right now, partly cloudy skies over downtown Dayton. It is nice and quiet here now. Earlier this evening, live Doppler 7 radar was rocking and rolling with some strongest severe thunderstorms, but we can rest easy. We're done with that for the night. But look at the warmth that is still out there. It's 1117 at night, and we're at 83 degrees right now here in Dayton, and many areas still in the lower 80s. Out the door tomorrow morning, of course, it is still all about the heat. That ice water will be very important. You need to hydrate before you're doing your strenuous activity outside in that heat. Build up that hydration so you can battle the heat when it's at its worst. And, of course, it's a shorts and T-shirt kind of day. Sunglasses as well with all the sunshine and warmth out there. Here's a look at Skycast for the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies early, and it's a very quick warm-up. Already at 87 degrees there, close to your lunch hour. Heat index values by noon should already be in the lower 90s. And then actual high temperatures tomorrow get to the lower 90s with the heat indices climbing close to 100. Now, like today, there is going to be at least a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. You can see those blips of green indicated by Futurecast. But I don't think the coverage tomorrow is going to be as widespread as what we saw today. Consider yourself lucky if you can cash in on a little downpour to give your yard and your garden a drink. Otherwise, it is just going to be hot and very dry out there, just continuing to dry out the vegetation across the Miami Valley. 6.30 tomorrow evening, we are still near 90 degrees. All right, feels like temperature, that's always the more important number. And as we look ahead to tomorrow afternoon, we feel close to 100 degrees here in Dayton during the warmest part of the day. I think a lot of folks could briefly see those heat indices touch 100. So that's dangerous if you're outside. But also keep in mind the temperatures inside your car are climbing. With an outside temperature of 90 degrees, within 10 minutes, your car's at 109. After 20 minutes, 119. 30 minutes, 124 degrees inside. So remember, beat the heat. Check the max seat with those dangerous numbers. Rain chances, very low through the extended forecast, only 10 to 20% at best. That means we just get hotter with all the sunshine. Here's my Storm Center seven-day forecast. Looks like the hottest days this week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 96 to 97 degrees. All of a sudden, that 88 next Monday looks great, but we've got a lot of heat to get there before we get there. And again, uh, some some folks got rain today. Yeah. Um, other places didn't see any at all. Right, and it's interesting. The grass outside the TV station is already brown. Yeah. 
And I think that'll be more common as we go through this week. We're seeing more and more even in neighborhoods. Go, go. Yes. I saw a rainbow, though. At least that was the that, one that good was part. Nice. <laughs> that was the one good thing we saw. Awesome. Thank you. You know, soon there could be a warning label to go along with downloading social media apps. The nation's top doctor said there's a good reason. And ticks are making more people sick. The insects are on the move and infecting new areas. 